What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It has been about a year and a couple of months working on this R1 and now it's finally time to finish it. I just took it out for a ride and I've had a lot of fun today. I hope you guys don't skip through any parts of this video. I have been noticing a lot of people only watch five minutes of a 23 minute video. So if you would like me to make shorter videos, just let me know in the comments down below. Now without further ado, let's get straight to work. All right guys, so I removed the headlights and the tank again because I wanted to double check all of the wiring and make sure that everything is connected properly before we start installing the fairings. I also have the fairings in that box over there. I also got some new plastics in the box next to it. And uh, what I want to go ahead and do is, is start connecting all of the plastic and bits and pieces that go on the fairings. And then I'll lay them down here on the ground and show you guys what the fairings look like, as well as I'll talk to you guys a little bit more about why I had the fairings painted the way they are. So let's get into it. All right guys, so just wanna say that these fairings right here are actually original fairings. As you can see in this clip right here, I did a little unboxing while I was working on the GSXR. I think it was part three. And the reason I did that is I just wanted to show you guys that they are original fairings, just in case no one believed me. And I got these fairings from a guy that rides track. He turned his bike into a track bike and no longer needed the original fairings. He's the same person that sold me the headlights and all of the plastics that go with the fairings. I'm really happy that I got these fairings for a really good price and the reason I had these fairings painted is because the color scheme was for the 2015 to 2017 model I have the 2019 model and the color scheme changed for these bikes as you can see the engine color also changed for the 2015 to 2017 you had the silver engine and then the 18 to 19 came up with the black engine but some of you are probably wondering why I had my fairings painted this way and I'll be honest I had a lot of ideas and every time I had an idea I did some research and it turns out someone already did this to their bike or had that idea before I did and so I'll give you guys an example 
I was gonna go with the shark theme with the blue and neon green wheels and it turns out the killer cam already did this to his bike and I was like damn I really cannot do the same thing I don't want to be a copycat because that would mean I lack imagination but then I started digging a little bit deeper and I found these two colors on another motorcycle pulled these colors into Photoshop and started editing the fairings exactly the way I wanted them I then started to think about all the things I like and the type of movies that I watch I'll be honest I really do like samurais that is why they is one in front and on the sides and because Yamaha is a Japanese motorcycle the people of Japan do have a samurai history and I thought that this was going to be the perfect fit so we will be calling this bike Ronin because Ronin means samurai without a master but enough with all the talking let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of these fairings and while you're at it please hit the like button and subscribe I think these fairings will look a whole lot better once they are installed so I start from the back and make my way to the front I also want to install this tail light but it is a little bit damaged it's cracked at the bottom here so I will be removing this plastic cover just to see if it can work without it and if it can I will install it but if it can get damaged later with water damage or something like that I'll just replace it in future but as I said I think it can work perfectly fine for now so without further ado, let's get back to work. So it turns out this idea wasn't gonna work and the tail light would have ended up getting water damage. So I decided to cut my losses and stop being so cheap and quickly bought a new one. I decided to go with the smoked out version because I think it's gonna blend in perfectly with the fairings. So let's go ahead, install the rest of the tail piece, then we can move on to the headlights and the rest of the fairings.
All right, guys, so I almost forgot that I have these carbon fiber winglets and I'm not exactly sure how I want to install them. I think the best option might be to install the side fairing first and then I can mark up where I want those winglets to be. And then we'll remove the side fairings again and quickly install the winglets. I think that might be the best option. If not, then I'll figure out another way. So let's go ahead and quickly do all of that and see if it works. All right guys, so it seems like I have a little bit of an issue here and the winglet on this side mounts perfectly fine. It's actually flush with the fairings and I can mount it in any location and it will be fine and it will look really good. But uh, let me quickly show you guys on the other side. But the winglets on this side don't sit flush at all. As you guys can see here, it's a little bit wobbly and I'm not exactly sure why but they probably sent me a reject without knowing and uh, I could complain about this but I won't get this winglet replaced anytime soon because they come from Thailand. I'm going to tell them about this but uh, I bought this about three months ago so the chances of them sending me another one is not very likely. I'm going to try and have this mounted in some position and try to figure out a way, see what I can do and then I'll mount it on the other side. If not, then I'll just have to go without the winglets and complain and hopefully I get my money back. But let's see what I can figure out and then we'll go from there. All right guys, so I got both fairings laid down over here and I just wanted to show you that the winglets are almost in exactly the same position. I measured each side exactly the same and I measured everything in millimeters. So for the first fairing, we have 73 millimeters for the front, on the rear, five millimeters, on the top, 21.4. And then on the other fairing for the front, 75 millimeters, rear, seven millimeters, and then for the top, 21.3 millimeters. And if you guys are wondering, the difference is literally two millimeters. On the top is actually really close it's 21.4 and 21.3 that's literally a tenth of a difference 
But uh, if you guys are wondering how much two millimeters really is, I got it here on a vernier. That is two millimeters for you. You definitely will not see this with your eyes, but let me get up a little bit closer and show you guys how close they really are. All right, so first off, don't look at the decals if you want to see if these winglets are aligned. And the reason I say that is because the painters made a mistake. As you guys can see on this tuning fork, there is a piece missing, but on the other side, you can basically see the whole tuning fork. And that is why I say don't look at the decals. But if you guys just look at the fairings and the position of the fairings, as well as the winglets, you'll notice that they are exactly in the same position. And honestly, I am impressed that I got it this perfect. I definitely will not buy any products from this company again. And uh, I won't mention their names because things like this happen, but because they're not in my country, I definitely won't buy from them again because it's not easy to replace parts. But let's go ahead and finish installing the rest of the fairings because I really want to see what this bike looks like. All right guys, so far so good. The bike is really starting to come together and everything fits in perfectly. I actually love the way the bike is starting to look. I told you guys in the last video that I would show you the difference between the stock and the custom screen that I had made here. And I had the screen made because I'm a really tall rider and I actually had the 2017 R1 and at high speeds, the wind would hit me on my chest and on my helmet. And after a little while, you'd start feeling spasm in your neck and you'd also feel really fatigued. So I didn't ride that bike for long. But uh, as I said, I'll show you guys the difference in the two screens. So let's go ahead and quickly install the stock one with the fairing and then we'll install the custom one last just so that I don't have to install it again. So let's go ahead and get into it. So here you guys can see how low the stock screen really is and it definitely was not going to work for me. Maybe if I was a shorter rider it could have worked but in this case I am not. So I installed the custom screen and here you guys can see how much of a difference it really does make. The screen almost goes above my head and that would be perfect for the wind. It even has a little lip on top just to deflect more of the wind. I'm not exactly sure how this will handle when I'm riding. I will have to test that once we start riding the bike but I will admit it definitely makes the bike look a whole lot more aggressive and that is something that I enjoy seeing on a motorcycle because it really does capture all of your attention. But the build is not 100% complete. I still have some accessories that I would like to install. So as usual, I had some custom tank pads made. I designed all of this in Photoshop and then I sent it off to a guy that could make them for me. I also made my own mirror block of plates out of aluminum and then I powder coated them. I didn't record any of it because I didn't think I was gonna get it right. But I still need to cut this shape out of this piece of rubber so that we don't scratch the fairings. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And then I also want to install these carbon fiber lever guards and then I also have some new badges from Yamaha. And then lastly, I'd like to remove the Suzuki from the garage and then maybe clean it up a little bit in here. Move the Yamaha in the middle and then I can apply this nano ceramic coating. And then finally, we'll be able to hit the cinematic.
and there you have it guys the r1 is finally complete i hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic it's been a year and a couple of months working on this bike and it took that long because i had to buy everything second hand yamaha is really expensive on brand new parts that is why i didn't buy anything brand new because personally i couldn't afford it i hope you guys can understand why i went with the candy apple red on the coolant pipe as well as the wheels because i have a little bit of red on the fairings and everything just blends in perfectly the red on the fairings is also candy apple but it is in a satin clear as well as i know i haven't installed these plates that cover up the exhaust but personally i'm not going to install them because i like the exposed titanium i think it looks a whole lot better i also won't be able to ride the bike today because i need to wait 24 hours for that ceramic coating to cure so let's go ahead and jump to tomorrow and finally take this thing for a ride Honestly, I am completely speechless and I have no words that can describe this bike. And that is why I'm going to end today's video right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment your thoughts down below. I have a new build coming to the channel, but before I start working on it, I need to put in a ceiling so I can stop abusing my aircon. So that will probably be the next video. While you're at it, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload a new video. You will be seeing me in the next one, so until then, Peace out. Oh, you're still here. Well, that's good news because I have another two videos that you can watch. You can either click here or click here or click this profile picture and subscribe. See ya.